What's up everyone, Dan Cruzel here with WIGaming.com. Today we are looking at the game Slay Away Camp Butcher's Cut, developed by Blue Wizard Digital, published by Digerati. It is on the Nintendo Switch, on PS4, on Xbox One, and on Steam if you want to pick it up there. The cost for the Nintendo Switch version is $14.99, digital only. Get ready to play the most violent video game you've ever played. That's right. Slay Away Camp Butcher's Cut is an intense comic puzzle horror game in which you manipulate dozens of bloodthirsty characters, such as Skullface. Scare the living dickens out of everyone as you commit crime after senseless crime. Slide these demented murderers around hundreds of isometric puzzles to pulverize, rip and tear, and decapitate innocent victims in this grievously dark homage to 80s horror films. Quench your thirst as you go on a murderous rampage, unlocking multiple movies in the series. Recognize any of these faces at all? Or better yet, voices? Fun fact, Slay Away Camp includes none other than Mark Mir, aka Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, and Derek Mears, who played Jason Voorhees in the 2009 reboot of Friday the 13th. The game's mechanics are simple and sweet. Shoot, even a five-year-old could play this game with ease. Not that I recommend this game to a five-year-old, but I'm just saying. Speaking of that, if you can't bear the comic ultraviolence of the game, you can enjoy the, as they phrase it, sanitized safety of PG mode for a bloodless and gore-free good time. As a puzzle kind of guy, I would say that most of these puzzles were very well done. For even if I got stumped a time or two, I had the ability to request a hint from the ever so gracious blue wizard at the cost of some coins that is. And if you're still stuck, you can pay an additional 100 coins to see a sped up run through of the puzzle's solution. It can be a little hard to follow at times, but if you need to see it again, it doesn't cost you any extra coins. Also, an addition I felt was quite generous was the rewind feature. I can't tell you how many times I needed to use it. For this kind of game, it almost requires it though. The best part about collecting the coins is making your way over to the shop and purchasing new ways to slice and dice. Or maybe a better term for that is purchasing cutscenes. I'm not a big horror fan, but I did enjoy watching some of the hilarious ways to kill someone, and I really enjoyed being able to unlock and play as different characters as well. Slay Away Camp's pick up and play nature is its best attribute. Both handheld mode as well as docked mode were virtually flawless. Rarely had I come across any issues with the game, and with as cool as it sounds, I rarely used the touchscreen controls and felt it was a bit unnecessary to include. But overall, there are many thrills to be had in Slay Away Camp Butcher's Cut. With over 300 plus levels and a little over 90 plus gore packs, the game will have you playing for a good solid while. Though, this game kept me occupied for some time, I did get that sensation of the game's inner format almost going sour. The puzzles had a lot of variety but lacked in ways of satisfaction or so I felt. Every time I completed a level, it felt no different than the last. The things I most looked forward to was unlocking new movies for the in-specific intro scenes and acquiring coins to buy additional killers and cutscenes. Coming to the close of this review, I give Slay Away Camp Butcher's Cut a worth it rating of 7 out of 10. And with a price tag of $14.99 for the Nintendo Switch, I think it is worth it. Also, I forgot to mention, don't kill the cats. They mean you no harm. I hope this review helped you in deciding whether this game is up your alley or not. And if you are at all interested in this game, I have included a couple of links to where you can check this game out down below. As always, be sure to visit and follow us on Twitter at IIWI Gaming. And if you have any comments, questions, or recommendations, please feel free to do so in the comment section below. Also, if you feel we are worth your time, it is much appreciated that you subscribe as we are working hard to deliver more content each and every week. Thanks to the fine people at Digerati for providing a review code, and thank you for stopping by.